what's up guys so today we're gonna go to dtx barbers in dallas i spoke to my boy mike i heard good things about the barbershop so i called him and said hey man i'm interested in going over there and checking out your barbershop he was excited for me to go and tour the shop and hear a little bit about what he got going on out there we're on our way i was like i need to go over there and check it out stay tuned 45 minute ride let's get it there's the hood hood over here like you can't see with the camera but i like it i feel like i'm like at home Nah, but let me see. Okay, oh, this is it right here. Okay. Oh, they got a tattoo shop too. That's right, he told me about it. It's a tattoo shop, it's a barbershop and a tattoo shop. Boom. So, this is dope. You can get a haircut and get a tattoo. Uh, I guess that's the type of business they're running over here. Let's go inside and check it out right here. Boy, Mike, what's good, bro? Good. Nice to see you. You know, I told you I was gonna come check out the shop and everything and, and do a tour of it. Uh, I did a little bit on the outside. This is dope, but I, I got the, the flag. That's major, you gotta have that. But uh, let me mic you up real quick. Uh, got it right here, and then let me turn it on. What's, what area is this over here? This is West Dallas, Let Better, right? This is West Dallas? West Dallas, Let Better. Let Better, because there's like La Bajada and uh. then Los Altos. So it, separate, it separates the neighborhoods, you know, back in the day. You got West Dallas, and then you know how Back in the day, those gangs and all that kind of stuff happened. Yeah, yeah. They kind of established that as left better in the area of West Dallas. Okay, so. A certain neighborhood. And how far are we from like downtown? Though? It's like 15 minutes from downtown. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's it's not, not bad. bad. Main Street on Singleton. Actually, this is my first time in this area. I mm. never even knew about this. Yeah, area. it's a very, very. Yeah. Uh, has a lot of history in this area, man, for sure. Okay, and how's the shop as far as like traffic and all that? Traffic. This is a very busy shop. We have a very a bit, uh, well known uh, lote stand right next door that everybody. Yeah. I was about it's called Pepe. Stop, I seen that. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't say nothing on the video when I when, when we was driving by. But but if you got that Lotus next door, yeah, you already know the shop is it, bro. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> so it's busy traffic. Uh, we got. I think it's very important to have a barbershop near schools. So we have two elementary schools True. down the street. One two minutes from here. The other one another two minutes. So you got two elementary schools. Two elementary okay. schools. Okay. You got two three churches, neighborhood churches. So hey. yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> but it's always important to have barbershop. It's always location. And I feel like we're a community barbershop. Yeah. So we always like go to career days and we just engage in our community as much as possible. That, that's 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 one of the most important things. A, a shop is a staple in the community. So you have to always stay connected to the community. Yeah. If you're, you know, separated or disconnected, then why even have a business? Right. You see what I mean? They need to know who's behind the, the, the building. Yeah. yeah. So so that's that's very important. Um, as I'm talking to you, I'm looking yeah. at this wall here. What is what is this here? What's going on? So when I when I when I came to Christ, I just felt like uh, everybody who walks through through a shop, you never know what they're going through. You know how they say our chair is like therapy. It is. You never know what someone's going through, and, and when you read scriptures, it kind of it hits home. You know, you yeah. never know which one they'll stand in and and um, and read. Like like trust in the Lord with all your heart. There's some people that don't know that, but when they read that, it, it'll strike a chord when they have the Holy Spirit. In them. Bro, so, this right here is so true. You telling me about it? If I had the time, mm -hmm. I could fill up this whole wall with right. Bible verses that'll probably that'll hit you right, right. there. Mm -hmm. And 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 I live through that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's that's dope. I, hey, I that right there, I like that. Yeah, every every client, every client comes and puts something in. Yeah. They're like little kids. They'll put encouraging words. You know. So that's, that's you know what I like cool. about it? That it's right in the front. So yeah. meaning that the first thing you see as soon as you walk in, obviously you. You get greeted by the barbers and everything, but the first thing you see is you notice this this wall with the Bible verses, which, you know, it's the first thing you see, right? Yeah. Meaning, we come in, God first. Amen. You know, so yeah. I, always, I always tell people that. Yeah, so, I really appreciate that. Uh, but now, uh, I just got this last night. I was going to ask you, like, we have the vending machine, <laughs> but there's nothing in it. What so are we doing? The, the story about this, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow. So oh, nice, you, nice. So Happy birthday. What's it? What's it? What's Jada. Jada. Happy birthday, Jada. So her birthday present is uh, her first business. So Bro, that, entrepreneurship, that, right? That's crazy. So, uh, so tomorrow that's I'm so going to bring her here, yeah. take a picture and introduce her to her first business. And we're going to start the LLC process. And so I figure, you know, things like food and clothes, all that is great. And I'll do yeah. that. But I think that you outgrow that. But you can only, you can never outgrow a business. And 
Yeah. This is gonna show her so many. No, lessons. that is man, that is such a wonderful gift. How old is she gonna be? She's gonna be 13. She's 13. 13 ages. Okay, okay. So yeah. 13. She's gonna love this. She's gonna mm -hmm. understand that and love it. She's gonna appreciate it even more later on. Right. But at some point, she just say, "Okay, that's so. So what's my gift card?" Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, her her job is gonna be <laughs> giving the 10 percent. Yeah. And then her learning her lesson how to manage money. Yeah. How to how to how to pair working with your little brother and sister. Yeah. It's just a whole process of her having her own business. Her own business, yeah. And the lessons she's gonna come, come load her. herself and everything. Yeah, all that. That's, is, that's you know, so, and I'm gonna that's manage so dope. That's it. That's, okay. But that's why we just got it last night. So yeah, that's what's so up, man. So man, uh, so okay, be, before because I, I definitely want to tour the shop, right? But something that I want to do is I want to see if you have like, uh, do you have a barber right now that's about to that's gonna do a haircut or something? Because yeah. I want to show the before. And then after the tour, we'll show the after so people can see yeah, kind of sure. like what kind of haircuts you, you, you guys give out and all that. Yeah, for sure, man. So you Ricky what, blends, let me introduce at? you to Ricky. Come through right here. This is, oh my God, this dude. This is Ricky. Ricky, Ricky? My people. what's going on, Ricky? Uh, Ricky. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. So he's about to do a, you got the picture of what you're going to do then? He's about to do, since it's Halloween week, yeah. he's about to do a spider web design on his neck. Oh, uh, so it's not just a regular somebody haircut. coming in with a haircut. He's yeah. gonna do a whole design. design. Well, it's okay. not too much on the bottom on? of his neck, but yeah. Okay, okay. He's Fidel, another one of my barbers. Oh, he's a, he's a barber too yeah, for me? Barber okay, here. what's your name again? Fidel. Fidel, Fidel. Okay, how do you say it again? Fidel. No, but Fidel. 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 Is that, is that how they say Fidel in English? Fidel? Fidel, yeah. yeah. That's just that's, feel like that's like that's like me. I gotta say, I gotta tell people Ramon. I'm like, nah, yeah, man. Ramon. This is if you can't say Ramon, Ramon, just call me Ray. Yeah, let him know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what you're gonna get. Okay. Hey, zoom in over here. So Bro. a little bit about Fidel, man. He's a entrepreneur at 17 years old, man. He's a good example for 17 years old. Yeah, for these kids that are in the streets and want to want to change their lives, man. He got a good head on his shoulders, you know. He got his license and everything, license and all. My man, I, you know what? I, I wasn't gonna ask that question because mm. when you said 17, I'm like, maybe nah. there's some mentorship going on. Nah. But at 17 and you're already licensed, oh yeah. man, bro, yeah, you, you, you're you on the right track. Yeah. I, honestly, and I, by you mentoring him, man, that, that says a lot about you as a barbershop owner and as a pillar in the community. You know, you, you, you know, not not your case, right? But a lot of kids, right, your age could could be out there doing things that they shouldn't be doing, you know. But instead, you're out here having, you know, making your clients look fresh and and starting a journey on a career, bro. That's gonna, that's Flourish. gonna, that, yeah, that can give you a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, you can see, you know what I'm saying? Doing so, great, man. so, so Fidel is gonna get haircut by Rick, Ricky. Ricky, okay, yeah. Ricky. And this is your station right here. Yeah, this is Ricky, man. This is, like, this is like your own little private studio yeah. over here. Yeah. So when you walk in, this is like, let, 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 me, let me get, let me, yeah. let me, let me feel like as, as a barber, right? As, as, as a client, I get it, but as a barber, this is dope, because you walk in, you see everybody come in, and you're over here cutting, you got the mirrors, mirrors. Is this a two-way mirror? Yeah, it's a, this is the- Oh, no, no, I meant this one, like- tattoo shop. Like, okay, so is somebody from the other side looking at you through here? Yeah. But they have to be yeah, you can see. Oh, but they can see. Okay. Yeah. Like, they're supervising you. Yeah, they can. I guess, somehow, huh? Well, it's like yeah. a show, so I have a storefront right here that you can see my yeah. tattoo shop. And that's what I'm, that's the whole idea. People can see us in action. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That someone tattooing, it's all a show. Bro, I, I love that. When I was, I was at a suite in South Lake, and I liked how uh, the, 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 the walls, there was no walls, it was glass. Nice. So when people walk by, they see, yeah, they see them. That's nice. I'm a show off, so, yeah. so I, I feel you on that. Mm -hmm. I like how this, who set it up? You set it up or you set it up? Pretty much you did. Uh, get creative with people. This Everybody got to bring their own piece in the shop, man. Uh, everything right here, pretty much. This is like this is such a unique barbershop, bro. I, I like this so far. Like I like this station. I see myself like working over here in the in this corner. I like I like this so far, so far. I think I might like the other one too. But then I don't know. I just bro, I love the shop vibe, man. I was in a suite. Not not to downplay anybody that that works at a suite, right? right? But I was at a suite for four years, and I didn't like it. Like I didn't like it anymore because I felt, I felt lonely. You know, like, nah, I, I'm here by myself. She's like, yeah, you focus on the client or whatever, but I need that shop vibe, you know? And here it's like, you got your own space, right? Your own little privacy with the client, but you're still in the shop yeah, where you get the vibe. Everybody. Yeah, you can still you can still tell Fidel, yo, Fidel, did you see Brandy score two points yesterday? You know, you can still, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can still yell from out here or whatever. So this okay. is dope. Yo, all right, so I'm gonna let you do the design and I'm gonna come back to a hey, po point at the hair. I wanna see. This is how it looks before, right? And then 
after the tour we're gonna come back and we're gonna show the after so so we'll do that this Same. right here man this is our shop man as soon as you walk in i wanted you to see who we are and we're dtx barbers man we keep that as faded that's the motto uh, and that's your logo right there that's a logo yeah that's how, that's how i see it in yeah, the chain right there logo, yeah, yeah. i like that and uh man i think we just kind of that's the one thing you want to see right is who we are uh shout out to patch he's the one that does all my work he is patch customs man he's amazing man mm. he does a lot of people's work so um I, I, I have a question yes, about the, the 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 wait this is the waiting area right yeah okay yes. so i want i, I want to know right, if i'm a client and i'm mm -hmm. sitting here right how do I watch TV? <laughs> we just flip it around. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We okay. usually put fights, man. We have people here. We have yeah. all the, they're linked up. Yeah. You oh. know what I'm saying? They're linked up and stuff. So like, at the end of the day, sometimes when the tattoo shop's here, we, yeah. we just kind of flip it around. It's a whole 360, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so what if I want to watch something, but then the person that wants to watch something? We'll watch it over here. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. You Sorry, know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. But they're so. all linked up together. Like so what? Then, your, so we're watching the same thing? Yeah, we can watch the same thing or different too. Okay. Uh, you know. Uh, but see, okay. but, but check this out, but people, our model is that we don't let them sit down. We have so many barbers, as soon as they come in, we're, we're attentive. We don't want you to sit down for too long. Yeah. No, that's, that's very that's, important. It, 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 it is, it so is. We don't want them to be coming in here sitting down too much. Because you know what it is? The shop vibe is important, right? Like you want people to come in and feel good, right. but at the same time, they're not here to spend the day at the shop. Right. You know, they're here to come about business, come get right. your haircut, right. and then go do everything else that you got to do. So you are gonna get a good vibe the time that you're sitting here getting a haircut. Right, no but it's not for you to be here like, yeah, we're gonna be here for three hours. Right. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, we got a little PS4, we let the kids play and stuff like that. Um, usually like in the mornings, man, it's more like a model, man. We, yeah. We just kind of chill, everybody's talking. We all kind of ask about our morning. It's not more like the ones you walk in. This is also- Okay, you got another TV right here. So yeah, so man, let me stuff. set you up. Let me show you how- You know what it is? Cause I, I have this thing about TVs, bro. Really? I've okay. always been like, in, in TVs, like when I go places and I see right. a bunch of TVs, to yeah. me it's like, it's just So when you go on fun, like TV, it. Jonathan, he's one of my managers here, bro. He's getting a haircut. That's the manager? Yeah, right there. All right, what's going on, bro? Let me go over there. So what's up? You don't have to get up because I know you're getting a haircut. What's, what's, what's good? Up? Nice meeting you, bro. Papito. What's, what's up, bro? What's going on, man? Papito. What? Alex and Jonathan. and Jonathan. Okay, ve, 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 como me sabe Jonathan. No, es Jonathan. Joe. Right, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, Papi. There you go. And so whose station is this? So honestly, you talk about mentoring. Uh, I have this kid that comes every Saturday. Mm. And I allow him to bring his own people. And I'm watching him yeah. from here, just kind of. That's your station. Well, she, I moved around everywhere, but I feel like this was more like on hands on. Yeah. So I just, you know, I'm not the type of person to have the best station, man. Yeah, yeah. I come in here and I let everybody do their thing. So yeah, this is my true, station. True. Uh, I, every Saturday he'll come and he'll get at least one haircut. Mm -hmm. His client, his brother, and I just kind of teach him. He's in school in Skyline in the barbering program. Yeah. So by the time he gets out, he'll have his license. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, it's kind of, I want to open up my barber school next. That's what I'm working on. Okay, and, that's, uh, that's something we'll talk then. That's something we're, we're practicing yeah, right yeah. now. So, so this is your station. Yeah, is I like favorite. how you have the light set up. I, yeah. I really like this. Okay. So people come in. I'm the first one to greet them, man, all the time. There's barbers that be cutting, and they don't understand that, hey, when somebody comes in, you have to make them feel welcome. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And it starts by the greeting. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to DTX, you know? Yeah, Rich Flow that's here right next to me, man. Me and him are very- Oh, that's very, another station. That's another station right Bro, here. Bro, just walked by and yeah, I didn't we, even see it. Right, but he'd be there, man. He'll make, he'll make sure you're known. Yeah. Bro, we don't ever let nobody cross these pillars without saying, gentlemen, hi. These guys understand, man. I think customer service is more important. And we're all about customer service here at BTS. So I missed, I missed that. When I walked in, I went straight to this area. Yeah. And I didn't see that there was a station right yeah. there. And then, and then I didn't even notice like this that. station here. Because the way it's set up is, is, it's unique, it's different. Yeah. I've never seen a shop set up the way it is because obviously you not every building looks like this. like over there. Oh. Yeah. It's like you walk in and then there's a line of chairs, chairs, and that's it. But to be honest, when people walk in and I say, hey, how you doing? They're like, oh, you know? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> We're like right there, man. So all in my barbering and industry, man, I've always been the one at the door. Yeah. The shop that I, well, the shop that I worked at before I came in. Okay. So, and then, so this is dope, man. I like how, like I said, I like yeah. how you have the TVs. I like I like the way the station is set yeah. up. And then you got two, you got two barbers right here. Two barbers right here. And two Fidel more over and Gio, there. And that's Jonathan and that's uh, the two Steezy's, another barber. Yeah. And uh, when, usually that's pretty much our shop is very small and, and family, man. Uh, we go to our tattoo shop, which is also another like sink where people, we all just communicate throughout the whole day. So you the know? whole place, it, it's, it's all one place. It's honestly. all one place just with a storefront. If you want to walk through, man, let me uh, show you how we come in. 
Yeah. We'll walk through. Uh, Imagine if I get a tattoo. Hey, I'm here. I got you. Oh. Hey, so this is another station man. When he comes, he's like a guest. So yeah. the guest artist is the one that shows off the, this thing. You know, people be watching him tattoo right here. Yeah. A guest artist. And, uh, so this, okay, so the guest artist, if okay, so if he like like a guest barber, exactly. right? They'll come here tattoo on this on this in this. Well, we'll just move this out the way. Yeah, this is the okay. guy that was here yeah. before. But um, okay, you got it set up like we have portable chairs and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more like a walkway, but when someone comes, we like to show it. Yeah, is that it's like a we promote it and stuff like that. Promote makes it. sense. Makes sense. So this is our. If you come over here, this is our piercing area. The sapphire. She's a hello. How you doing? She runs the shop as well with her husband over there, but she does the piercings. And uh, this is our piercing area, and we like to keep it separate from the tattoos to be sterilized. Yeah, I think, they, I think you're place. supposed to. You're supposed to, yeah. yeah. So this is her own little suite right here. And then we have another artist right here. This is Madrid, and this is... Hello, this what's is up, what's up? So you guys are the tattoo artists. Yeah, this you is got, You got three tattoo artists. Three right. tattoo artists and then and the piercer. Yeah, he's the leader. He's a ta uh, tattoo leader, manager. They live. He runs all, all right. the shop. Nice meeting you. Shop, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I don't want to... So yeah, right now he's in action, man, uh, getting it in. And oh, that's. If that's we're not nice. tattooing, we're working yeah. on something. Is, is it cool if we if we if we show that on camera? Is it cool with you both, man? Yeah, right now it's still uh, peeing. Right now we're getting Yeah. So now, but from but from out here, you can see the you can see the art still. Yeah, we're just doing highlights right now. Yeah. Man, see, I, I should have yeah. never walked in here because now. I'm telling you, it's like, well, I got like I want to get one. I want to get ready. one. I want to get something, anything. I don't. Whatever it is. Oh man. I got no neck on yet. Yeah, this I, is. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I would. <laughs> so we keep it very community in here. It's mm. not one of those big crazy shops where it looks amazing. We're more about customer service mm. and and being simple and being uh, on our craft. Yeah. And being professional and uh, but we love our shop, man. We really do to keep it clean. We we're a community. We're unity. We clean up together. And uh, man, that's that's just my shop, man. It's not much, but it's home. This one, for example, since I walked in, I, I, I got hit with a bunch of surprises. I walked by two stations that I didn't even notice yeah, when I walked yeah. in. So this is dope, man. I appreciate so, you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate your wisdom and words. Man. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you for that, too. I know we're waiting for Ricky to finish, Ricky to finish Fidel. I'm getting better with names. Jonathan. And Alex. And I, Alex didn't tell me his name. <laughs> Did you? With the, what? Alex and Jonathan. And Jonathan. Is it Alex? Alex, you didn't say your name, did you? You did? Damn, okay, okay I messed up that one. <laughs> I messed up, my bad. See, Alex, Jonathan, Ricky, Fidel, Mike, and- Chispa. See, I didn't know Chispa. Nah, Chispa, he's Yeah, and that one I'm never gonna forget. Yeah, Chispa. You got Tell my man. Tell the story of Chispa, why is it Chispa? Hey, I'm chispa curious to know spark. why, is, yeah. Chispa, Chispa, hey, Chispa means spark. Yeah. So. Why they call you Chispa, bro? You're already giving me Chispa vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do it. Yeah, when I was little, we were from the border. Yeah. And I was still little, like probably like three or four. I went around. I got off the minivan. You know, back then, little minivan. Probably. Yeah. So like, this the is. System is down. So okay, so this is coming from where? From uh, coming back to Mexico to Dallas. What part of Mexico? Uh, yeah, but were you like? I was too little. I didn't know about like. Like, is this some some crossing the border type stuff? Yeah, I was coming back to Mexico, but I mean, we have paper. You just, oh, they, that's what I meant. Like, I thought you had a little backpack, and you're like, alright, let me go no. find the American dream and all that no, stuff. No, no. no. Okay, okay. I'm like, okay. You're not swimming or crying or nothing. Bro. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. But yeah, I think, okay. So everybody knows you as Cheese Pop, yeah, like that. Even in English, I, I, hey, Mr. Cheese Pop. Is that <laughs> no, what they say? Yeah, Cheese Pop, hey, man. It just and, there. and you cut here, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Cheese Pop, hey, who are you here with? I'm here with Cheese Pop. Yeah. All right, what Dude, you going to get? And, and, and then you call special. people, you book them. How they book? I, I book with Cheese Pop? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a barber. Yeah, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this yeah. I think I book with cheese. Somebody yeah. named cheese, cheese, pie. cheese, pie, cheese, 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 cheese,
obviously most people speak English. Yeah. Have you ever thought about, you know what, let me change it to Spark. <laughs> nah, nah, you might keep the roots. Yeah, yeah. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's us. Well, hey, nice meeting you, Cheese Pop. Yo, yo, I, just, I met the real Cheese Pop right here, bro. <laughs> Can't believe I'm right here. In, in, in her own flesh and person, Cheese Pop. See, now that what we wait, we can go ahead and if there's something next door we could grab. Yeah, I'm go. hungry, bro. Come on, gotcha. <laughs> Let's go Let's do go. it. All right. Let's order some food for you, papito. This is the best. This is the best when you come to the hotel. Uh, you want some tacos? Buena. Eh, no, yo, yo voy a pedir un plato, puedo. Eh, con... ¿Qué tiene? ¿Me puede ayudar? ¿Qué carne tiene? En aquí tenemos... Eh, Then we have fajita, grilled fajita. Oh, eso es lo que yo quiero. Okay, fajita. Pero, 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 lo, pero lo quiero en plato, ¿está bien? Sí. Show the food. Tortillas al lado. You want tortillas? Este... And we don't have to have tortillas. Yeah, uh, that, that You want tortillas? Yeah, I have tortillas. This is so dope that you have a store like right next to... Yeah, man. I'm gonna get a... Uh... Whatever you like, bro. I get it, I got you. Coke Zero. Jairon, what do you want? Está bien, está bien si ponemos el video. Let's put on YouTube channel. Sí, está bien. Está bien, ¿verdad que saquen la cámara? Sí. Tiene, que decir, tiene que decir su nombre y que trabaja y que... No, mentira. <laughs> That's true. ¿Quieres un pan? Come on, brother. We're here already. What you like? Bro, help. You okay. gotta take care of yep, you. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some pan. I'm gonna get some pan. I'm gonna get some pan. <laughs> I'm gonna get some pan. ¿Tú has probado esto, Jairo? Sí, aquí está el bag. Let me try those. Let me try those. Bro, look at this. <laughs> And then... I think two is good because they're big. Yeah, no, I think two is good because they're big. Yeah, look at get it. Yeah, let me get For one later. of these. Oh, for your one. wife. You know what? Yep, yep. Can't forget the wife. She's going to be like, you enjoyed all that food, but not me. With me. This ain't going to make it home, bro. Ah, it ain't going to make it home. She won't even know I ate this, bro. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cutting that. Oh. <laughs> so he owns a shop next door. So I like to go to different barbershops and promote them so they can grow even more. Yeah. You're a good person. Yeah, for sure. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm on, yep, I'm on Facebook as well. What is it? It's Papito Bless Hands. Oh. Oh, I get that's, that. That's that. how you said it. Man, appreciate that, bro. Si, no, ¿Ese es asado también? No, no, I live here. I live here. I'm, so, I'm from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Papito, can you put my over there for me? Oh, of course, bro. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, she, she just told me to be careful. Te dijo que me cuidara porque hoy es el día de qué? Del Jalame el Wing. Del Jalame el Wing. A jalar wing. Oh, bueno, bueno, que mucha suerte y que disfruten el jalan el wing, whatever they're gonna do. Mira esto, oh my god, bro. Really? Bro, this is right here. Let's eat. After, after eating, we'll go check out that haircut. Let's, right. Let's do it. Everybody saw the shop, everything that the shop st stands on, stands for. You guys already saw what the shop has, what it provides for the clients and for the public. For the community period right but what will be the main thing of the barbershop is how how are these haircuts are coming out now ricky here decided to do a whole design i'm like okay yeah i mean you didn't have to you didn't have to do them like that but when we walked in we saw some of the barbers cutting each other's hair or whatever and as i'm looking at them like so far everybody that i've seen cut hair is nice so you know, I, I, I'm already expecting something real nice from this, from this haircut. The only one that I didn't see was cheese pot. Bro, I'm, I'm not, bro, I'm not gonna forget your name, bro. That's that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forget that face and that name, right? So, but let's go ahead and check out what uh, Rick did. Let's check it out. How, oh, no, come this way, come this way, because of, the, because of the light. Okay, that taper right there, the way he applied the color, the white chalk around it, perfection, right? A little bit, little, little hairs here and there, but it's all good, right? Scratch that. Now, check out the design. You got the picture? Actually, you know what? I don't even need to see the picture because sometimes we don't do exactly what the picture is. What we want to, what we want to look for is, look how clean it came out. I like how you do the swirls, the design. I like the separation here. When, when, when you did the, the end style haircut, because a lot of people want to like go the, with a line all the way up and then a line all the way down. And it looks, it looks like a, takes up like, space. no, it, it, it looks like it has no creativity. This one, you could, you could see it that you have that artist mindset when you do a design. You could, you could tell. I could tell from my design right away. 
this is nice. And then the taper on the side too. Bro, oh my God. Bro, that. That looks so good on the camera, bro. Okay, now. The question is, would I come to this barbershop and get a haircut here? 10 out of 10? A full 10, yes. I would definitely come here and get my haircut. Now, what do you guys think? Did you like the shop? Did you like the vibe? Did you like the haircuts? Let us know in the comments below. Give my boy Mike uh, some, some, some words, some, some compliments on the shop, on, on his barbers, and stay tuned and catch me on the next barbershop.